Title, Pete Davidson Plays Real Life Bumper Cars, House Edition, T.L.D.R. Pete Davidson, everybody's favorite tattooed joker, got a wee bit too reckless with his ride, turning a Beverly Hills crib into his personal crash test zone. This hilarious yet concerning episode has landed him a misdemeanor charge for his Formula One aspirations in a residential neighborhood. Well, all right, let's hit the gas and delve into the story, shall we? On a typical March evening in the glitzy hood of Beverly Hills, it seems that Pete Davidson decided to add an unscripted twist to his life sitcom. Known for tickling our funny bones on SNL, Davidson opted to read a fine carpool karaoke, sans the singing, culminating in an unsolicited visit to a local house. While the residents were probably not expecting this kind of housewarming, they now have a story for their next dinner party, so, the other night, Pete Davidson crashed into our living room. Now, we don't condone such behavior, but we must admit, Pete sure knows how to make headlines. That being said, could the term breaking and entering get a more literal interpretation in the future? Who needs a doorbell when you can announce your arrival with the sound of twisting metal and breaking glass, right? The Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office certainly didn't find the humor in the situation. Spoil sports, right? They've slapped Davidson with a misdemeanor charge of reckless driving. From what we gather, this was less fast, and furious and more dumb and dumber. But, let's rewind a bit. Davidson, why were you cruising around Beverly Hills in such haste? Was it the late night munchies? Or perhaps a daring bet gone wrong? Or maybe, just maybe, it was a botched audition for a fast and furious reboot? Only Pete knows for sure. So, let this be a cautionary tale, my friends. Remember, residential streets are not the autobahn and houses are definitely not pit stops. We all want our lives to be a bit more cinematic, but let's leave the high-speed chases and epic stunts to Vin Diesel and co. For the rest of us, buckle up, drive safely, and please, leave the houses alone. Of course, no recommendations here, but as far as Pete's next move is concerned, maybe a defensive driving course wouldn't hurt. Just a thought, for legal reasons, we're not saying he should or shouldn't do anything. Now for some food for thought, why do you think Pete Davidson was driving so recklessly? Was it a genuine mistake, or is there more to the story? And how do you think this situation will affect his image and career moving forward? Chime in below. We're all ears. Or eyes in this case. Disclaimer, the content of this article is intended for entertainment purposes only. It does not constitute legal or safety advice. Always drive responsibly, kids. And remember, no house, no matter how inviting, should be used as a parking spot.